Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply mixed numbers using cross cancellation. Let's jump into our example where we have 10 and 1 eighth times 4 and 4 ninths. Now the first thing that we need to do, we need to convert these mixed numbers to improper fractions. That way we just have a numerator and a denominator. We'll start with 10 and 1 eighth. So let's go from the bottom and work our way to the top. So we multiply and then add. We do our denominator times the whole number. So 8 times 10, which is 80, plus our numerator, which is 1. So 80 plus 1 is 81. That's our numerator of the improper fraction. We keep our denominator of 8 the same. We'll bring our multiplication sign down and then convert our second mixed number. Start at the bottom, we multiply and then add. So nine times four is 36 plus four is 40. So that's our numerator and we keep our denominator of nine the same. So we have 81 eighths times 40 ninths. 81 eighths is equivalent to 10 and 1 eighth. It's just in the form of an improper fraction. And then 10 and 1 eighth is in the form of a mixed number. Both of those are equivalent. So when we convert to an improper fraction, we're not changing the value of anything. And then 40 ninths is equivalent to 4 and 4 ninths. Again, we did this. So we just have a numerator and a denominator, and we are able to multiply. At this point, we can multiply straight across. So we can do 81 times 40 and then eight times nine, but we can use cross cancellation. And this is a way to simplify fractions before multiplying. It gives us smaller and easier numbers to work with. Therefore, a simpler problem to solve. We cross cancel by looking for common factors between the numerators and denominators. So the top and bottom. Think of it as simplifying fractions, but we can look diagonally as well. For example, we have 81 and 9. So 81 right here and 9 diagonally. We can look for common factors there. A common factor between 81 and 9 is 9. So what we can do, we can divide both of those by 9. So let's cross them out and divide them both by 9. 81 divided by 9 is 9, and then 9 divided by 9 is 1. So you can see that gave us some smaller numbers in value and easier numbers to work with. We can also look the other way diagonally. So between 8 and 40, do we have any common factors? Yes, the greatest common factor between 8 and 40 is 8. So let's divide them both by 8. So 8 divided by 8, let's cross it out. That's going to give us 1. And then 40 divided by 8 is 5. Once we get to this point, we can multiply straight across. 9 times 5 is 45. And then 1 times 1 is 1. Now 45 over 1, that equals 45. So let's write our answer as a whole number instead of leaving it as an improper fraction. So our final answer. 45. Now, if we did not use cross cancellation, we would have to multiply 81 times 40 and then 8 times 9 and then simplify from there. And eventually we're going to get the same answer. So cross cancellation is a useful tool when we have multiplication problems that involve fractions. Again, it gives us smaller and easier numbers to work with, therefore a simpler problem to solve. Think of it as simplifying the problem before multiplying. Now, can we use cross cancellation for every single multiplication problem that involves fractions? No, we have to have common factors other than one between our numerators and denominators. If the only common factor we have is one between our numerators and denominators, we can't use cross cancellation. So something to keep in mind. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.